Okay, many of you have been dying to know what happened to my knee. You saw me in that MRI machine. Well, I've got the MRI results. I've been to the surgeon to get confirmation. So I'm gonna give you an update of what's going on. And there's a lot going on, but it's not all bad. So first things first, just an update on my knee. I have an ACL recon on my knee. I got it in 2009, skiing injury. Bust my ACL, also did meniscus, so I got that repaired. But when I got my ACL done, I got a Lars graft. So that means my ACL, if you look in here, there's your ACL there. Mine was snapped in half, but it was sitting there beautifully. What the surgeon's done is put through a synthetic fiber. This is a zip tie, it's not a synthetic fiber. But he's put through a zip, uh, synthetic fiber through on the same angle I get my knee right. Same angle as the ACL, okay? And that sits in there, drilled in from tibia through to the femur. It sits in there and the ACL is sewn attached to it, okay? So it's called a Lars graft. Super strong and, you know, minimal failure rate. There are some complications sometimes, but not with me. So it was going perfect. And I've done half Ironmans on my knee. It's been 15 years since I had that done. And of course, I had a little whoopsie skiing the other week, and I've done a few more things to it. So the result is, this graft, as far as the MRI says, it might be damaged. We tested it, well the surgeon tested it, it's solid as a rock, okay? So this graft, thank God for this, because that is still in there, keeping my knee alive. If I didn't have that, I would have pretty torn my ACL completely again. But there is tearing, so at the back, there is tearing, if you open this up, there is tearing in that ACL. And probably what's happened is, the surgeon thinks, that the ACL is torn a little bit off the graft, but the graft is still intact, so I'm super stable. Now you can see that, if you look on the scan here, if I roll this back here, you can see where they've tunneled in. Okay, this is my old 2009 tunnel going through here, so it goes through the front, if I roll through, it goes through the back, and up, and there's the rest of it up there. Now, if I go back to the middle, this is what the, has been highlighted there, okay? So in the middle, where that graft, you can't see this synthetic fiber. The fiber doesn't come up on an MRI because the fiber, there's a reflection problem. So you can't really see the fiber, but geez, I'll tell you what, it's there. But there's some disruption there. So that's most likely the ACL has been torn a little bit, half, if not all, off that um, last, which will either just sit there dormant or heal it, or a bit of it's torn off. Doesn't matter, okay, because I've got this, which is great. So I'm still super stable, right? So that's one thing. Now, there was a little bit of instability first because a lot of swelling and all that sort of thing, but that's gone away, okay? I'm not running on it yet, but it's going well. The other thing of note, what I've got, which is a bit of an abnormality, but again, it's okay. If I roll back, check this out. If I go through here, look at that. Now this is what we call an ossicle. So there's my patella, there's my femur, there's my tibia. That is a piece of bone that should not be there. Now on this scan, it's nice and smooth. It was a bit fibrous on the scan in 2022, and that at the moment is not annoying me. Okay, it's not going to come out. If it does, it will. They'll come and scope it out. But that's been there for two years, and like I said, I've done a half mine on that Iron Man on that and it's been fine. So we're gonna leave that in there. The other things that are going on is I've got two meniscal tears in this meniscus, okay? But they're asymptomatic, all right? So those two tears in this are regardless of the injury, okay? They've happened over time. We're not worried about that because I've been running on those and they're fine. So sometimes you can have meniscal tears and they're just a little tear because, hey, I'm 48, I'm not young, so therefore, there might be some wear and tear there. It doesn't mean it needs surgery or needs repair. So the surgeon's saying, we're not even worrying about that, that is totally fine. What we do worry about, and what we need to be careful of, is the three fractures I've got on my knee. And you might go, fractures, are you serious? When I impacted on this knee, I fractured the medial tibial plateau, I fractured the lateral tibial plateau, and I fractured the femur. So if you look on my knee here, there's a trabecular fracture in here, there's a fracture over here, and there's a fracture up here. And you might be thinking, fracture? It's not a break like bang, a fracture, and it's broken in half, I need screws and stuff. It's a bit different. You'll see it on here. If I go back to here, this scan here, if I come down into this scan here, you'll see, 
actually. I'll just go, sorry, go back to this one here. They pointed it out. So there is the first fracture in here. Now you can see all this sort of white stuff in here, right? There's an impact in here. So this bone has driven down into here and it's gone crack. Now that's like, imagine if you throw a stone at a window, it doesn't break the window, it goes and break little cracks everywhere. They all heal up, eight, 10, 12 weeks, depending on the person, okay? So that's not a worry. I'm just not allowed to run on this. It's been five weeks now, so I've got maybe another probably five to go, but I'm gonna give it seven just to be safe. So there's one there. And if you look through, there's the femur one, okay? So you can see all this white stuff in here. So imagine the impact, bang, all right? And all this is like, like honeycomb. You see this side, good. This side, white, okay? So this is the fracture in here, all right? And then there's another one over this side. I think we go to, I think it's this skin here. Yes, there's one there. Okay, there's another one there. It's a little step down one there, okay? So there's a, there's a crack in here that's happened. What that's done at the back, because it's sort of, the impact is just, just slightly tilted, but it's not enough to worry about a big slope or anything like that, that's fine. So people probably think, how on earth are you walking around with fractures? Well, hey, it did hurt, but what's the good thing and what the surgeon did say is, if you look at my cartilage, now this is, you know, what has probably saved me a little bit, I'll look at the cartilage one, next one, is if you look here, my hyaline cartilage on both sides is really good. Nice and thick, nice and smooth, it's great, okay? So I don't have any arthritis almost whatsoever. Now, at my age, there should be some sort of wear, most people. And after an ACL recon, 15 years down the track, the evidence, the research says, you should probably have some arthritis in your knee from having an ACL either tear or repair. I don't have any. And that's probably what has helped me, maybe that's genetics, maybe that's mum and dad, help me get through as far as running on it, okay, and doing the running that I do and the cycling and that, but also handling damage, okay? Being able to handle damage around the knee, having really good cartilage like that has sort of saved me a little bit, all right? So some people, if they don't have any cartilage there and they've had the injuries I had, like the ACL and the fractures, the muscle tears, they will probably feel those symptoms way more, right? So lucky me. But listen to note that I need to strengthen this anyway. I need to get working on building up low level conditioning, okay? Weights, body weight work, bike, okay? No running to try and make sure that this smoothly goes through, gets stronger, 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 wait my time, and then back into back impact and see how it goes, okay? So good news, bad news, but good news. That's my name, um, and I'll update you on how the rehab's going and when I return to running and see how we go. So thumbs up for me. See you next time.